In this episode of the podcast, we are going to talk about something that a lot of people struggle with. A lot of people struggle with being busy. Now, before I read you my script, I want to just come off the top of my head and tell you exactly how I feel. I feel like the whole being busy thing is nonsense. I really feel like we are trapped in this idea of busy and we believe that uh, busyness equals success or equals a reward or equals happiness and that's false to me that's my narrative being busy is false to me being busy doesn't mean that you are successful happy financially secure experience experiencing abundance in my personal opinion that's not what busy equates to to me busy equates to a cluttered mind uh, a mind that has no clear direction no clear understanding no clear purpose this is my personal opinion this is not a fact and what I want to do with you is share my write-up with you uh, and then there's a guided meditation in there that will help us uh, unbusy our minds and clear our minds and then at the end of my writing uh, I give uh, solutions I offer a solution for how we can attack the day let's dive right in you wake up early and try to get some you time in but it's not enough you go to work or school you only sleep six to seven hours hell you'll be lucky if you can get seven hours you stay up late because there is a need to do this work and that work and study this and study that while Netflix is playing in the back while you're texting and scrolling Instagram, not really being productive. Your relationships are not balanced because you're really not good at calling back. You're not even good at calling in the first place. So you look around at your social life and wonder why everything feels so inconsistent and feels so off. You complain about the way that the generation is and how people are these days. But have you actually looked at how you are? You think you're in the circus because you're trying to balance life. You're trying to balance bills, helping family, helping siblings. You have a best friend you haven't seen in how long? You guys haven't talked in how long? You're good at posting on social media even before you text and call back your friends. You're good at when someone does call you, you cut them short and say, hey, let me call you back. Hey, let me hit you right back. Hey, let me call you back. But do you call back? You keep up with social media. In fact, social media is how you think you're staying in touch with your friends. But it's, it's not real. It's not really allowing you to stay in touch. What purpose do you get out of being busy and unbalanced like this? Why are you busy, busy, busy? For what reason? What are you accomplishing with your busy, busy, busy life? What purpose do you get out of multitasking? Do you actually believe that multitasking is real? Because I don't. Instead of multitasking, you should focus on being present. Being present is where your power is. There's no power in multitasking. What has multitasking ever done for you? Multitasking allows you to start a project over here and you don't finish it because you don't give it enough attention. And then you start one over here and you don't finish that because you don't give that enough attention. Multitasking is not your friend. You know what your friend is? It's presence. Presence of the true essence of the now, of this moment. Saying, hey, I'm going to focus on this moment. How do I feel? What do I want? What energy am I creating? What is around me in this moment? What does it smell like? What does my skin feel like? Am I hungry? Being aware of everything in this moment. When was the last time you were completely in the moment? No more multitasking. 
No more multitasking. Multitasking does not help you. It does not help you be efficient. It does not help you organize your life. It does not help you finish your projects. Multitasking is the reason you're a bad friend. Multitasking is the reason that you are not efficient and effective at the things you complain about saying that you want the most. So the question of the day is, when are you going to stop multitasking because it's not working? When are you going to try to just focus on the moment because multitasking does not work? That's the question of the day. Do you have an answer? You know, how about today? How about today we stop multitasking and how about today we focus on what we have now? How about we focus on today and only today and only on the energy you can give today? What would happen if you focused only on today, not in the past, not in the future, but if you focused all of your energy and really, co really concentrated on today and on this moment? How would your life go? How would you feel? And what would happen if you took that same energy that you carried all day of, I'm going to focus on the present moment and carry that over into the next day? How do you think tomorrow will go? What happened if you built a lifestyle of focusing on the present moment? What would happen if you built a culture of focusing on the present moment, giving your best to the present moment? You have a class today giving your best attention to that class. You have a date today not being on your phone on the date, but paying attention to your date, diving deep into conversation. What would happen if that book you want to write, you wrote your 200 words like you were supposed to. You keep making excuses about the gym. What would happen if you said, I am being intentional about the gym today. I'm not going to miss. When I'm there, I will not be on social media. I will put my 60 minutes in. It will be the best 60 60 minutes, I will focus, I will give all of myself to the workout. What would happen if you took this level of concentration with you every single moment? What could you do? The answer is anything. I'm not even going to let you think about it because you can do just about anything if you actually focus. You know that quote they say, set your mind to it. You haven't set your mind to anything. You haven't set your mind to anything. I challenge you to set your mind to something. I challenge you to show yourself how great you are by setting your mind. By saying, I'm going to focus. Nothing will break my focus. Can you do that? Are you up to that challenge? Do you think you can do it? My friend, it's time to hit the reset button. It's time to ask yourself, why am I doing this? Why am I doing that? Really examining what is my purpose for this? What is my purpose for that? It's time to ask yourself, why you bought into this idea that busyness is the path to success? Why are you stretching yourself so thin? Why? That's what you have to ask yourself. Why do you feel the need to always be busy? And what is being busy actually doing for you? These are the questions you have to ask yourself. <laughs> so here is what we're going to do effective immediately. Every single day when we wake up, we're going to make a plan for that day. A plan that gives us purpose and direction. A lot of people think that finding your purpose in life is some grandiose idea. I beg to differ. Finding your purpose in life is actually a daily challenge, and it's really easy. You have to just simply ask yourself, what is my purpose today? What do I want to do today? What do I want to create today? Who do I want to be today? You simply just need to focus on today. And if you focus on today, every single day, then you have life's purpose right there. It does not have to be a grandiose idea. Life's purpose does not have to be a title. 
It doesn't have to be a place. Life's purpose is to live every day, to focus on each day, to be present in each moment. There's your purpose of life. So when you wake up tomorrow, make a plan for how the day will go, for how you will feel, for what you will do, for who you will see, for what you will learn. And then keep an open mind. That's the purpose right there. It's not simple. It's not hard. It just is what it is. Stop overcomplicating things. Stop overthinking things. Here's what we're going to do. Wake up. You're going to make a plan. You're going to put five things on your plan. This is how you simplify your life. This is how you live a life full of purpose. Wake up tomorrow. Make a plan. Put five things on your plan. Five things on your to-do list. No more than five things. No less. Literally five things. Because you don't want to be busy. You want to be productive. So productive people usually do at least five things a day. You figure out what those five things are. It could be something for your relationship. It could be something for self-care. It could be something for fitness. It could be something for spiritual. It could be something for community. There you go. There's five things right there. You put those five things on your to-do list. You build your whole day around doing those five things. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. You're going to say that you have to work and you have school and you... I, okay, understandably so. So maybe you substitute there. Maybe you can't focus on your community because you need to focus on studying. No problem. Figure out what five things you're going to do. You don't need to do 50 million things each day. That's not effective. It hasn't been working for you. It stresses you out. From now on, you will only do five things a day. These are the five tasks that I am focused on. When you get done with those five tasks, relax. It's simple math. If you were to do five tasks a day that all align with your purpose and your goals, that's 35 tasks a week. That's 70 tasks every two weeks. That's 140 tasks in a month. Just by saying, I'm going to do these five things a day. And what really what really starts to happen is as you have the same thing repeat multiple times, like, hey, I'm going to work on my podcast today. Say that you repeat that three or four times a week. You're do now you're doing that 90, 100 times in a month. Anything that you value, you need to make it important. Stop the busy talk. If something is important to you, you won't say I'm busy. You will figure out how to incorporate it into your life. The most effective strategy that I personally use to make sure things are important to me is I pick five things every single day that I'm going to do. If I need to call someone and it's important to me, I make it a part of my five things. If I need to work on my fitness, my spiritual plan, my, my, my self-care, my mental health, my friendships, my relationship, my business, whatever it is, I focus on five things a day. And that's it. And I give my best energy to those five things when I can. Because to me, I want to stay present and I want to give my best energy to the day. So I focus on five things a day. Research shows that the more decisions you make per day, the more stress you will have. That tells me that we need to simplify our life. I can't speak for you, but I'll speak for me. I don't want a stressed out life. I don't want to deal with stress. I don't need cortisol kicking my ass. I want to be happy. I want to enjoy life. There's The way that life is designed is there's already stressors designed into life. So for me, my goal is to figure out how to, first of all, manage those stressors that I did not create. And second of all, manage my own stressors that I create. And one of the ways that I do that is by simplifying my life. I don't have to make a million decisions a day. I don't need to spread myself thin to be here and to be here and to be here. I don't believe in being busy. I believe in being productive. I believe in staying on my purpose. I believe in having a plan and executing it. I don't believe in just being busy just for the hell of being busy, just for the sake of it. For what? That's not happiness to me. Happiness to me is knowing I'm waking up, I have a plan, I'm going to execute my plan, I'm going to do these couple of things, and then I have free time to enjoy my life, my relationships, my friendships. 
I absolutely believe in hustling. I absolutely believe in working hard and creating the life that you want and all of that good stuff that gurus and everyone talks about when it comes to abundance. But I also believe in inner peace. And I also believe that going at your own pace. And I also believe in taking your time. And I also believe that I don't have to get to success when you think I need to get to success. And my success does not have to be what you think it needs to be because I determine success and I determine my happiness. And for me to be happy, I don't need to be busy all the time. Because if I want to go to the beach and just have a picnic and eat some sandwiches, I deserve to do that. If I want to go hike the Grand Canyon, I deserve to do that. I should not have to be obsessed with work, working all the time. I can't get any breaks. If I want to go see my niece or my godson or whoever, I should be able to do that because family matters and friendships matter and enjoying my life matters. And if you guys think I'm about to be the type of person who is just busy, busy, busy to the point where I have no life and I have no enjoyment, I got another thing coming for you guys because that's not the type of person I want to be. And if you find yourself falling down this trap, you have to ask yourself, do I want to just be busy, busy, busy? Is that really the life I want? Don't you want to enjoy some pina coladas or some tea on the beach? Don't you want to just go for a walk with your spouse? Don't you want to be able to read to your kids? Don't you want to be able to just sit down and relax and meditate or do nothing? Sit in silence. When was the last time you sat in silence? Don't you think you deserve that? But because you're so busy, you haven't even processed the possibilities of sitting down and relaxing. <laughs> you know what's funny? We've bought into what they've sold us about how we need to be busy and busy and busy and busy and work and work and work. When you know what? You haven't even heard silence. When was the last time you heard silence? When was the last time you just sat down and meditated with your own thoughts? When was the last time you just dove deep into your own thoughts? Man, this is how I think. What if... Wow, that's a crazy thought. Oh, man, that's crazy. Wow, they really did that. You haven't even thought about anything recently because you're so busy trying to be busy. So busy trying to be on social media. So busy trying to work and make all this money. You haven't even just sat with yourself and said, let me see what I be thinking about during the day. You don't even know what you be thinking about. You don't even know. <laughs> all right, guys, let's do a guided meditation. <laughs> Let's let let's let this this is a lot, right? It's a lot of energy now. This is like wow. Like I haven't just let go. I need to just let go. I need to enjoy my life. Let's do two guided meditations, all right? Okay. Guided meditation number 1. Right now we're going to focus on enjoying life. You need some words on enjoying life. So, if you're following along on YouTube, Close your eyes. If you guys are driving in your car, do not close your eyes. You guys listening on Spotify and iTunes and SoundCloud, do not close your eyes if you are driving your car. I know that is common sense, but you never know. <laughs> you never know. What year is it? 2019? Like you, you don't know these days, all right? You got to be so careful with what you say nowadays. People are... Uh, you know, they follow everything. Like, that's one of the things that's actually wrong with our generation. We just, like, follow every idea. and We don't. Oh, my God. I'm about to, like, my brain is sparking. Because it just goes with what I was talking about. Like, we don't actually think for ourselves anymore. Like, we just want to follow what other people think. And we want to follow what other people tell us. Like, we don't actually introspect and try to figure it out on our own. We're just like, hey, well, let's just Google it or YouTube it. And let's just see what... Some guru has a say. And it's like, there's no, there's no gurus. There are no gurus. I'm not a guru. I have seven books. That, that makes me a guru. I'm not a guru. I have a podcast. That makes me a guru. I'm not a guru. Like, we have to stop with this um, making other people's thoughts more valid than our own. Yes, there are professionals who have professional opinions who can offer us um, information that has been validated or proven or possibly proven, yes, that matters. But at the same time, we still have the ability to introspect thoughts on our own. And that's honestly, that's my biggest goal with the whole Free Your Energy podcast, the Free Your Energy book, all of my books. I'm trying to help people go within. I'm not trying to tell you that I have the answers 
or that I know the, the way of life. I'm literally presenting questions and ideas because I want us to figure it out together. Like, man, how do we how do we do this? How do we get past this? How do we fix this? So that's my goal is to present questions. So thank you for listening to my rant. Now, I'm going to give you two guided meditations. So let me breathe a little bit. Let me catch my breath. Let me recenter myself. Uh, I want you guys to take a couple breaths. Inhale, exhale, take a couple breaths. There's going to be a little bit of silence right here. And I really, I just really want to center myself to make sure that these, these meditations um, have the proper energy they deserve. All right. In this guided meditation, I want you to create a visual image of what happiness looks like to you. There is no wrong image of what happiness looks like to you. For me personally, I am a beach lover. I live in a place where there is no beach. So I envision myself going to the beach. The sun is out. Kids are screaming, having fun, playing. I can hear the waves of the ocean. I have good company with me, maybe two or three friends, or I can be by myself, either way. I feel full because I ate a good meal. I feel hydrated from water, coconut water. I have fruit with me, banana, mango. Everything feels good. My body feels good. My mind feels good. Direct deposit went through yesterday. So I got a couple of hundred bucks to play with. I feel good. I'm visualizing myself in a happy place. I want you to visualize yourself there. Hell, you could even be at the beach with me. <laughs> visualize yourself with me at the beach. And we're just having a good time. Enjoying life. Yeah, we have responsibilities, but we also have a responsibility to have fun. We also have a responsibility to enjoy our life. We also have a responsibility to cultivate powerful connections and friendships and to enjoy life with these people. So picture your, yourself on the beach with your best friend, just having a good time. You guys don't have to be drinking beer and alcohol. If that's what you want to do, cool. But we can have fun without the beer and the alcohol. If you guys are into marijuana, you can be smoking the marijuana joint on the beach. It's all good. This is, this is what you want. This is how you envision happiness. Visualize that place. Maybe there's another place of happiness and it's a, a kid you love. Maybe it's your kid or your niece, you know, or nephew, and you love hanging around them. And, you know, their energy, their, their young juvenile energy, you just love it. Visualize their energy. Visualize your happiness. Visualize yourself taking a break from work. Visualize yourself enjoying life. Visualize yourself taking a break from work. Visualize yourself enjoying life. Visualize yourself laughing. Feel that good energy going through you. You're laughing. You're smiling. You're enjoying the moment. You're in the moment. Doesn't it feel good? Don't you have the chills? Do you feel it going up and through your arms and through your chest? Do you feel happiness taking over you right now? Do you know why you feel that? Because you deserve that. You deserve a break. You deserve 
to build a life where fun and abundance is a part of your success. It is a part of your work. You deserve that. You deserve to feel free. You deserve to feel all that good energy. You deserve to feel the happiness vibrations that are flowing through you. You deserve it. I want you to say this with me. Repeat after me. I am free. I am happy. I am glowing. I am creating happiness. I am sharing good energy. People want to be around me. I want to be around people. We can share good space. We can laugh. We can smile. We can eat healthy food and stay hydrated. We can both lust for life. We can both enjoy our life. We can all enjoy our life. We all deserve to feel free. Let's go ahead and end this guided meditation with a, a deep inhale and a deep exhale. And when you exhale, just think about all that good energy you deserve. Just think about all that good energy you created. feel good. Say it with me. I feel good. Say it again. I feel good. When you leave this podcast, whether you're on YouTube, watching Spotify, SoundCloud, iTunes, maybe you saw a snippet on Instagram. When you leave this podcast today, I'm going to leave you with a challenge. I know you have financial goals. Okay, look, if you have financial goals and that's priority number one, I understand. Don't do this if you if you can't do it. I want you to leave this podcast today and I want you to book a trip. It could be a solo trip. It could be with your husband, your wife, your best friend. Call up your friend from college. I I need you to book a trip. And it could be something simple. It doesn't have to be extravagant. You don't have to go across the world. You could just leave your city. Maybe say say you live in California and you guys live in, in Sacramento. Maybe you go to San Diego. Or maybe you live in Florida somewhere. Maybe you go up to Atlanta for the weekend. It could be something nearby, okay? You know, you live in Dallas, Texas. Maybe you just need to go to uh, Austin. It could be something in your state. It could be in your country. Just plan a trip. And get on a bus. Rent a car. Get on a train. Get on a plane. Figure out how to make it uh, affordable for everyone. All right? Figure it out. And do it. Do your trip. Two days. Five days. Whatever you guys can afford. Just do a trip. And don't stress. Don't stress. You have PTO. You have time off. Use your time off. I want you to book a trip for the people who take this challenge serious and for the people who actually book this trip with your friends, your family, your daughter, your your sons, whatever it is. I want you to DM me on Instagram and I want you to uh, show me the confirmation or or show me you guys on the trip, whatever it is. Show me that you're going to take the trip. Show me that this podcast inspired you to have fun. Show me what you set up. Okay, let's say you don't have any money. That's okay. Do a picnic. You probably have at least 10 or 15 bucks. Do a picnic at a local park. The weather's heating up pretty much everywhere. It's March 1st. I know it's cold in some places, but it's getting better. Do a picnic. Okay? My friends, you guys deserve this happiness. Book your trips. Let me know where you go. I might even join you. (laughs) I might even join you. I might go with you. Especially if if there's some good food. (laughs) My friends, our energy is already free. This is the Free Your Energy podcast with Sylvester McNutt III. Make sure you subscribe. Tell your friends about this. I want you to send this podcast to someone and tell them, hey, you need to listen to this right now. You want some more vibrations like this in a book format? Order my book, Lust for Life. The the book on abundance, baby. Lust for Life. You can get it on Amazon.com. You can get it on Sylvester McNutt. Dot net. Actually,